Welcome to part two of my review of the Mean Streets of Gadget Sam. This week, an additional 25 cards have been released, and I decided I would like to start with Don Hancho. This is the tri class legendary for Hunter, Paladin, and Warrior. It's 7 cost, 5, 6. Battle cry, give a random minion in your hand, plus 5, plus 5. People have mentioned that this would be crazy if it hit Leroy. Um, it would also be pretty crazy if you did a brand bronze beard thing. So basically, whatever you're buffing is becoming a 10 10, at least pretty crazy. Um, not super special effect for legendary, um, but it is pretty good value. Next, we're going to start with some lower cost cards. We have the Smuggler's Run. It is a one cost paladin spell. It says give all minions in your hand plus one plus one. Seems pretty good. You can play it turn one and it's decent value. Um, I don't know. Nothing too special to say about this card. Next we have Trog Beast Rager. It's a two cost three two. Hunter card, battle cry, give a random beast in your hand, plus one, plus one. Uh, there's a lot of two-cost cards in Hunter decks that are competing for each other. This is just another card to do that. This card will be good in Arena. Um, you're going to have beasts in your hand, most likely, playing Hunter. Um, this card also has synergy with some other cards we will be showing here in a second. Next, we have Grime Street Outfitter. Uh, Paladin card, 2 cost 1-1, one, one. Battle Cry, give all minions in your hand, plus 1, plus 1. I feel like this card is really great, especially because in a lot of Paladin decks on turn 2, you are just using your hero power anyways, which is basically what this is doing, except also giving all minions in your hand, plus 1, plus 1. You could also brand this, obviously. I don't think I need to mention that with every Battle Cry minion. Um, but I think it's pretty good. Uh... You're going to find out that there's a lot of cards in the Grimy Goons that um, would be really awful top decks, and this would be one of those. Next we have Dirty Rat. It's a 2 cost 2-6. Two, it has Taunt. It's Battle Cry says your opponent summons a random minion from their hand. This does not summon a copy. It actually takes the minion out of their hand. It does not receive its Battle Cry. Um... It's basically kind of like a Death Lord 2.0, except people have mentioned that uh, Death Lord was a bit better because um, Death Lord didn't put the minion in play immediately, plus there would be a way where you could silence your Death Lord maybe eventually. But usually your Death Lord is meant to just stop heavy aggro, so they have to kill it before it brings the minion out. With this, when you play it, it summons their minion and basically is giving it charge because on their turn they will be able to attack with it. Um, but when I saw this card, the first thing I thought of was Brawl. Um, turn 7 as a warrior, you could play this card and then Brawl. You're, you're potentially taking your opponent's high value minions out of their hand and then destroying them immediately. While this is a two card combo, who knows if this will see play. Next we have Blowgill Sniper. It's a new Murloc card. It's a 2 cost 2 1. Battle Cry deal 1 damage. Nothing spectacular here. It's basically an Elven Archer that costs 1 mana more for 1 more attack that gets the Murloc um, tag on it. Um, obvi obviously gets buffed by um, the War Leader. Who knows if there will be uh, more Murlocs in this set that will be causing a new type of Murloc deck to come out. We will see in Arena this card is okay. Um, potentially on uh, turn 2 you kill your opponent's 1 drop maybe, and then this can kill your opponent's 2 drop because it has to attack. We'll see. Next we have Stolen Goods. It's a warrior spell. It says give a random taunt minion in your hand, plus 3, plus 3. Here we go again with the effects that buff minions in your hand. Plus 3, plus 3 is pretty good for a 2-cost card, but the thing is it's happening 
on a minion in your hand and not on the field. And it has to specifically be a taunt minion. Maybe um, with what happened in Karazhan and, uh, and with some of these cards that Warrior getting, maybe there's going to be a taunt Warrior coming out soon. We'll see. Next we have a Hunter card called Shaky Zip Gunner. 3 cost, 3-3, three, three. Death Rattle, give a random minion in your hand, plus 2, plus 2. Um, what's interesting is I feel like this card could have had the Beast tag, but maybe it would be a little too strong if it did. Um, one thing I do like about this card is it does have synergy with the uh, Forlorn Stalker that uh, Hunter's got in Whispers of the Old Gods, because um, that card will buff this card and lots of other cards that uh, hunters will probably be playing in the future that we will be showing you here in just a second, but uh, also get summoned off Nazoth, but we'll see if hunters can sustain being a late game, more control style deck. Next we have Shaku the Collector. It is a legendary for rogues. It is a 3 cost 2-3 two, that has stealth and says Whenever this attacks, add a random card to your hand from your opponent's class. Um, I feel like it's okay. It's pretty lackluster for being a legendary. It at least could have had three attack. I feel like that's still not crazy. Um, if it uh, gained stealth um, by some other mechanic, it'd be better. Um, one thing I do want to note is you can play this card on turn three. On turn four, attack with it, and then play the uh, four cost rogue card that gives a minion stealth till the next turn, so it has stealth again. We'll see. Well, maybe rogues will be getting more cards that grant stealth. Um, overall, it's kind of worse than Undercity Huckster, but once again, we'll see. I do like the card art, though. I think he's pretty cool. Next we have Rat Pack, a 3 cost 2-2 two, two hunter card that is a beast, it has death rattle, says summon number of 1-1 one, one rats equal to this minion's attack, once again just another card trying to get buffed by the Grimy Goons cards, also um, gets great value from Abusive Sergeant buffing this, Houndmaster, Defender of Argus, Lots of cards can buff this, and I think it's pretty crazy that even just from a simple Abusive Sergeant, this dying will summon four 1-1 one, one rats, which is usually higher value than you would get from Unleash the Hounds, although that has charge, obviously. This is a beast, so it can get buffed by the Trog Beast Rager. It does have Death Rattle, so it can get buffed by Forlorn Stalker. We'll see what happens. In Arena, it's also going to be a great card, just regardless. Next, we have a pretty generic card called Hired Gun. 3 cost, 4 3 with Taunt. It's nice seeing new cards with interesting stat lines that haven't been really observed before. For this card, it's in the manner of it having Taunt. Um, most of the time, it's going to get killed by 2 drops. We already know that. Nothing special to say here. Next card is a tri-class card. It is called Grime Street Smuggler. It is a 3 cost 2-4. Battle Cry, give a random minion in your hand, plus 1, plus 1. Um, it's pretty fair. Nothing crazy here. Um, hunters, Paladins, and Warriors can play this card. In Arena, it's a pretty good card. It'll uh, trade with your opponent's 2-drop, uh, potentially and uh, maybe it'll it'll be sticking around. Anyways, next card, Grime Street Pawnbroker, a 3 cost 3-3 three, three warrior card. Battle Cry, give a random weapon in your hand, plus one, plus one. This card is pretty great. You can turn an Arcanite Reaper into a 6-3, which is 18 face damage. Um, obvi obviously, Gorhal can go up to a 7-2 um, and get some face damage in there, uh, sorry, 8-2. Yes, 8-2. <laughs> um, this card will be great in Arena. It'll be great in Constructed. I predict that it'll definitely be seeing some play, especially in Aggro Warrior decks. 
Next, we have Auction Master Beardo, a 3 cost 3 4 legendary. After you cast a spell, refresh your hero power. Nothing crazy here, unless there's going to be some more Inspire minions in this set that are just nuts. And I guess the you could play this in Rogue. They have lots of zero cost spells, but your hero power doesn't really do anything um, special using it again. Um, it's whatever. Next, we have another whatever card. It is called Morgan Greaser, a 4 cost 6 3. Another just interesting new stat line. Um, dies to 3 drops, but uh, challenges most 5 drops and some 6 drops. Um, it's okay in Arena. Better than some choices. Next, we have Grimy Gadgeteer, a 4 cost 4 3. At the end of your turn, give a random minion in your hand, plus two, plus two. This is pretty good card. Um, it has four attack for a four drop. Pretty decent. Um, plus two, plus two is a pretty big deal. Um, and the fact that it's at the end of your turn, so recurring bonus. If this card sticks around, you will be seeing a lot of value. Um, I definitely think this will see play. Also, to note, in Arena, this is a common, so Warriors will probably be drafting this a lot. Next, we have Dispatch Kodo, a Hunter card, 4 cost, 2, 4, Beast, Battle Cry, deal damage equal to this minion's attack. One thing I want to immediately note is this is basically a Keeper of the Grove for Hunters that doesn't have a Silence ability but instead has a beast tag. This is also pre-Keeper of the Grove nerf. Um, I definitely think this will see play. It can hit the face, it can hit a minion. Um, if you're playing all those other buff cards, um, it's going to have a higher attack. Trog Beast Rager also buffs it. I think this is a good card. Next card is Backroom Bouncer, 4 cost 4-4. Four, four. Whenever a friendly minion dies, gain plus 1 attack. One thing I've heard is um, that why wouldn't you just play uh, Cult Master? Drawing a card is usually going to be better than gaining attack. And uh, although Cult Master has two less stats, it's probably better. In Arena, this is just a whatever 4 cost 4 cost, or a 4 cost 4 4 that's going to just be whatever. Next card is Brass Knuckles, a warrior weapon. It's 4 cost, 2, 3. After your hero attacks, give a random minion in your hand, plus 1, plus 1. So, unfortunately, as you can see in this set, there have been a lot of cards that have been printed that are basically like cards we've had before, but they say, give a random minion in your hand, plus 1, plus 1. Give a random whatever in your hand, plus two, plus two. At the end of your turn, give a thing in your hand, plus one, plus one. Not too much creativity in here, but it is nice just seeing this type of effect in the game. Um, hopefully the other two gangs that have been uh, announced for this expansion don't just have the same type of thing with all of their cards, where it's a repeating effect that just all of their cards have. Um, we'll see. Um, this card, not great. I don't even think I'd play this card if it was a 3 cost. It's kind of slow. A 2 attack weapon doesn't really have a lot of value these days, although it's more forgiving in Warrior since, um, you can hit more things because your hero power gives you armor. I don't see this seeing constructed play in Arena. It's a weapon. It's okay. Next we have a Hunter Legendary Knuckles. It's a 5 cost, 3, 7 beast. And it says, after this minion, excuse me, after this attacks a minion, it also hits the enemy hero. So that means it gets through taunt. Um, what we're talking about here is your opponent has a minion on the field. This attacks the minion, and then it also gets to attack the hero at the same time, basically. So if it does three damage to a minion, it's going to also be doing three damage to your opponent's face. Um, 
it's a beast. It's gonna, it can get buffed by the Trog Beast Rager, like I said before. Um, just another card you're going to want to get buffs on. Um, and I definitely think it'll see play. Also, uh, Ram Wrangler summoning this would be pretty sweet. Also comboing it with uh, Tundra Rhino is pretty cool. Um, pretty cool. I think it's a nice card. It's nice seeing legendaries not cost a million mana. Next we have Grook Fu Master, 5 cost, 3, 5, Wind Fury. Um, uh, we'll never see constructed play. Next we have Grime Street Enforcer, 5 cost, 4, 4, Paladin card. At the end of your turn, give all minions in your hand, plus 1, plus 1. This is uh, really neat, basically a Thorisan-like effect, uh, Thorisan-like stat mana distribution. Um, I think this card is great. I think it'll definitely see play in Arena. It's okay, although you're losing tempo initially by playing a 5 cost 4-4 four, four, and it's not doing something immediately. But I do think the value is there. Um, definitely, definitely seeing play. Next we have Doppelgangster at 5 cost 2-2 two, two, that you definitely want to get buffed by the Grime Street uh, Enforcer, it is going to summon two copies of itself with its battle cry. So, all of the hand buffs that you can give this guy are going to summon copies of that, and that is really great. Um, on its own, it's really great. Um, with Bran, it's really great. And uh, with Shaman, it is really great with the Evolve card. You summon this on turn 6, and then activate Evolve, and you just summoned Three random six cost minions, which is pretty insane. Next we have Ally, Ally Armorsmith. And uh, five cost two seven taunt. Whenever this minion deals damage, gain that much armor. Um, really cool card. Um, it's nice seeing it has taunt. You, they bef definitely want you to buff it with stolen goods. Um... It's a semi-heavy minion. It's it's a cool card. I like it. Um, but the thing is, priests are probably really going to be a thing, and they're probably definitely going to be playing two Cabal Shadow Priest, as I mentioned in my last review video. And if they are, you're definitely not playing this card in your warrior deck. Next we have... One of my favorite cards in this video, Grime Street Protector, a 7 cost 6-6 six, six Paladin card with Taunt, and its battle cry gives adjacent minions Divine Shield. This is really cool. I just, I like Paladin a lot. Um, giving Divine Shield is so good, and it gives it to two minions, and his stats are good stats too. He has Taunt. It's, I think this card is going to see a lot of play um, in all sorts of Paladin decks. Um, probably a new type of mid-range Paladin deck is going to be formed that'll have, that'll be trying to play Curved Stone, playing minions every turn, and like turn 7 you played this, and you just got all the good trades. Um, yeah, good card. Anyways, that is going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the reviews. I will be here again next week with another card review, and uh, hopefully they do the Cabal next, because I am really excited about the Cabal, although I am, I'm also really excited about the Lotus too, just curious as to what that faction holds for us. Anyways, thanks for stopping by. Make sure to check out my Twitch channel. I stream on Thursdays and Sundays. And uh, give me a subscribe or a like or whatever you want to do or not. And uh, I'll see you next time.